This is a Lapai Hi-Fi Stereo Amplifier, the LP2020Ti. Here it's claiming 20 watts output RMS per channel and speaker impedance is 4 to 8 ohms at the frequency response 20 to 22k with less than 0.1 percent distortion we'll see if it does truly do 20 watts per channel RMS so here's the power supply that comes with it this is a switching power supply and it is regulated its uh, output voltage is 12 volts at 3 amps 12.24 volts this is the output voltage of the power supply so here's the inside of the amp and uh, a quick look we look at the bottom and and there's the guts on the inside <clears throat> a left and a right channel preamp and here's the chip the main uh, the engine or the heart of the whole thing that is a TPA 3118 All right here they're saying 20 watts per channel that may be an that's RMS so and they're saying into 4 to 8 ohms well that's probably means 4 ohms so here's another dead giveaway notice the power input so here, if you're if you're doing two channels of output power, 20 watts, that's 40 watts output. If we do the math, we know you can't do that. 12 volts, 3 amp. That's 36 watts draw input, and they're saying 20 watts RMS output each channel. So if you're if you're producing 40 watts full power, that's uh, 40 watts output. So what? This is saying it's producing more power output than it has input RMS. No. So that's a misnomer. So here I'm testing the amp now. Uh, I'm going to check the voltage under load. And it's 11.95. That's almost virtually 12 volts. Two 8 ohm resistors in parallel. 4 ohms connected to the amp there. 1 kilohertz oscillator. Come over to the scope and we see 21.8 volts peak to peak. Here we got 21.8 volts peak to peak into 4 ohms. So here's the watts RMS, 14.85, virtually 15 watts. So there it confirms it here in our specification that it'll do 15 watts per channel RMS, and we verified that. Now I'm going to try it at 15 kilohertz, and let's see what the waveform looks like. As we turn it up and down, watch the waveform. You notice it goes, just before clipping, it does go through a little distortion right there. But it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Here the Lapai with the existing power supply will do 15 watts RMS per channel and not 20 watts per channel. And that's into 4 ohms. 4 ohms load. Okay, and this next an external power supply. Set it for 15 and a half volts DC. And I connected it to the Lapai amplifier. And let's look at the output. And there it is, 27.5. Of course, putting that in the calculator here, it's 27.5 into 4 ohms gives us, ta-da, 23.6 watts output. Now we're going to try it at 20 volts and see what we get. That's 33.2 volts peak to peak. There it is, uh, and again into 4 ohms, wow, look at that, about 34 and a half watts into 4 ohms. Ow, that, that chip is getting quite warm, ow, so run it for that much power, that would need a heat sink. So the Lapai LP2020Ti will not, in fact, make 20 watts RMS per channel with this power supply but it will make 15 watts RMS per channel. And this is a pretty clean amp for 15 watts RMS per channel with this power supply. I give it a thumbs up for that, for being a Class D amplifier, Lapai LP2020Ti amplifier.